after that, when I re-entered government uh, as an ambassador and I continued my work, um, I really got to ask my, continue to ask myself the question, where is the diversity in the, foreign, in the policymaking community? Uh, where are the people of color? Where are just the diverse voices of many respects? And, you know, there really, there really is a dearth of um, diversity in terms of the policymaking uh, that's being done. Um, and, you know, I dare say that it's just uh, the U.S., but there certainly is a diversity uh, lack in, in the policies that we make on peace and security that affect people around the world on the ground. Uh, which means there's a lack of perspective on what policies are being made, a lack of perspective and cultural sensitivities and gender sensitivities on not only how our decisions are made, but how they impact people on the ground, people who are doing the work, the people who are engaged. Um, and so for me, that doesn't make a lot of sense because so many of the areas of peace and security affect women predominantly, affect, affect uh, women of color predominantly around the world. And yet we were not at the table. So that was really my catalyst. That was my question.